What's up, everybody? Collector Net. Um, just coming to you with uh, a response to uh, AR Falx 77 uh, contest, uh, fringe contest, that is. Um, I guess the first thing you had to talk about, I'm looking down at it, uh, talk about um, a real life friend. And honestly, right now, um, my real life friend would be my wife. I, um, hopefully, I'm in camera here. Um, oh, well, she's my friend, my closest friend, uh, mainly because of her honesty. Um, no matter what it is, she sees things the way they are um, and will tell you how it is. Um, sometimes it gets on my nerves, but uh, that's what you need in a friend. Somebody who's going to be real with you, who's going to tell the truth, and, um, and, and, and be real about it. And say it in a way, because I'm the type that I, I won't take offense to anything. Um, it's hard to offend me for the most part, um, because I'm the type that um, I guess you would call an apologist. Um, I don't like uh, drama, and um, uh, I don't like a lot of problems. So I'm the type that uh, to try to solve problems, I'll apologize quick. Because uh, I mean it. it takes nothing to, to say I'm sorry or hey you know I did wrong or whatever and so um, you know I'm pretty easy to get along with um, so that would be why she would be my closest friend she's my closest friend um, as for um, just going a little further into that um, I'm also the type that I expect a lot from a friend and in my life, I honestly haven't had that many people close to me because I don't trust people uh, when it comes to friendship. Because to me, um, there's a certain way you treat people. Um, it's a certain way that you look at people and the way you care about people. And I haven't experienced um, any true friendship to me. Um, in my life, I, I would say I've had two best friends. Um, one of them was a female, and this was getting from the age of 17 until 21, um, and I really liked her as a friend, and we got closer to, I, I'll say calling each other girlfriend, boyfriend, um, but, um, she was living in Las Vegas, and I would, you know, email her, talk to her on the phone, uh, send letters, all types of ways of communicating. We were close friends. Um, I got to meet her about three times total. The last time I got to meet her, um, she came to town in Baltimore. And by the way, I finally found a nice hat, I think. Um, and another. But anyway, I, um, uh, she came to town, stayed for a week with my, my family. And um, I had my own apartment. Um, 45 minutes away, but I spent mo a lot of the time up there. And so anyway, um, we spent time, had fun, or whatever. And she had to go back home, of course, to Las Vegas after a week. She went back home, and I never heard back from her. And that was my best friend. She was my best friend. And never heard back from her, and it's been since 2001. Um, and, and she's not the only reason why, because before then, I didn't have close friends because again I just I didn't trust people and so um, you know I had people I associated with I had a bunch of people high school people knew who I was um, but when it came to being close telling secrets and, and just having that bond I didn't have it. my second friend uh, me and him we talked every now and then he was my roommate around when I was 21 when I had my own apartment uh, me and him was roommate we was cool played basketball you know all those things I got married um, <clears throat> after three years of knowing him, I got married, and um, he ended up getting married a year later. No, I'm sorry, later in the year. Um, I, I don't know what happened where uh, he did not come to my wedding. I didn't go to his. I, I don't know what happened, but now we was cool. Uh, now we're cool, I'll say. Um, he was going through some things with uh, his his wife and stuff, and I know I'm getting way off track, but I'm going somewhere with this. But anyway, um, uh, he was having problems with his wife. So we did talk and communicate mainly through the years of him being married and me being married. 
and I moved to Atlanta, stayed in Maryland. And um, anyway, his him and his wife ended up getting a divorce, and um, you know we kind of lost touch after a while, maybe a year in between that time. And we're just starting to pick back up and you know check on um, check on and check on with each other, check in with each other. So anyway, um, so I mean he's the longest friend I've had, which has now been 12 years. Um, but for the most part, I, you know, I, he's the only one that would know secret things about me. There is one other guy uh, in Georgia um, that I'm cool with. Him and him, his wife. I tell you, we, it's something about being married. You have problems, then you find someone who also has the same problems, and that's how you guys get that bond. So uh, anyway, we we talk every now and then. Uh, right now, him and his wife is working things out, and so. Um, uh, we talk every now and then. But other than that, I don't have many friends. And again, like I said, I don't trust people. Uh, I have workmates that uh, betrayed my trust. And, um, and so, anyway, that's that's that. And, and my nephew come into... Uh, here's my nephew. Uh, anyway, he don't know anything about no cameras. He'll grab it and run. Um, as for YouTube... Thank you. Uh, sorry. As for YouTube, um, diaper. Uh, sorry. Um, as for YouTube and and getting to know people, um, I'm, I, I consider myself to be close to Ryan RBI Crew. Uh, he has actually sent emails, uh, PMs, uh, just checking on me, checking on my wife, see how we're doing. And I appreciate that. My wife, every time he sent one, I tell my wife, my wife say, hey, you know, he uh, got engaged. She told me, you know, let him know. Congratulations and stuff. And I appreciate that. Um, I consider myself close to Eric the Raven fan, 519, uh, mainly because we have uh, something in common, which is the Ravens. Um, that's not the only reason why. Uh, he's a cool brother. I met him a number, uh, uh, a few times. And just cool. Cool guy, um, and and that he's one I like to get to know more. Um, not only him, but I'm the type that if you're on YouTube and you make videos, box breaks, I wanna I wanna be maybe not your friend friend, but a subscriber. Um, because I to me to, to, it's, it takes a lot of work for some people to make videos, and I'm really beginning to appreciate that now. Uh, I I now watch. Um, gaming on YouTube, and I. One thing I've learned is that they appreciate when you give a thumbs up on the videos. Um, besides the fact for them, they make money from it, but at the same time, it really do show that you appreciate uh, the work that they put into the video. Same thing when it comes to a box break, when it comes to a video like this, a contest. Just thumb up the video, no thumbs down. Just thumb it up. Uh, because it just takes a lot of work. Like me, I, I'm sweating. No need to be sweating. Um, but I get nervous on camera. And that's why I'm looking around and everything like I explained in my last video. Um, but um, it just some appreciation. Same thing when it comes to sending a PM to say hi. Uh, I sent a few of them out. I'm not going to say names. Um, I sent a few of them out uh, over the past week. Um, and it's right before this contest started because I was thinking how... That is something to do to say, hey, I was thinking about you. And sometimes that makes people dead. It's the same thing as I tell my wife that if I'm somewhere and I see a nice looking woman, I, I'm going to say, hey, you know, you look nice today. Or something because you never know what a person goes through when they're behind closed door and they're lonely, whatever the case is. To make somebody day, that's what I like to do. And when it comes to mail days and stuff and giving giving cards away, I, if I have something in my collection like uh, Chad, I, I, he, he don't mind me saying it, he put the video out there, um, I love Frank Thomas. Frank Thomas is one of my favorite players, but I know how much Chad uh, collects and like Frank Thomas. And because of the guy that he is, I sent him an autograph. Now granted, I got an email or two saying, hey, can you send me cards? But I don't want to go too far down that line, and I know I'm taking this video way beyond um, what we were talking about, but anyway, I would love to get to know more YouTubers. Um, it'd be nice if, and I'm not saying, hey, send me a PM right now, 
But just get a get a PM from people every now and then and say, hey, I was thinking about you. Because, I mean, my wife helped me to appreciate that. In order for you to get something, if you're looking for a gift or a mail day, a card, somebody was thinking about you, and, hey, here's a Raven card or here's a Falcons card. Hey, I got the Terry Douglas in my collection. Whatever. You also have to reach out to people and say, hey, I got something for you. And so um, you can't always expect. And that's my problem. I, I think I expect too much. And um, anyway, uh, that, that's 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 part of the reason why I don't get close to people because I, I, I expect too much. So I, I don't want to take this too long and I hope I didn't go too far off topic. But just so you know who I am and what I'm about, um, like I said, I do hope to get close to uh, to YouTubers, whoever. I don't I don't mind. And maybe I will find that one that, that I can, hey, hey, you know, talk personal stuff with um, besides cards. And um, you know I'm 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 down and but like I say I, it's hard for me to trust people because I've seen a lot of mistrust um, and I, I just don't like more than being afraid of it I just I dislike it and that's 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 me so like I said I know I've taken a long time and I hope that uh, you know to me it's not about the contest it's more about like uh, Michael said. Getting to know who the collector is, and I'm letting you know who I am. So, again, um, this friend, uh, this friend thing, this friend concert is a good idea. <clears throat> Sorry, I thought we getting a little, a little. <clears throat> and, uh, and but uh, when it comes to YouTubers and just saying in general, uh, just try to be positive, be nice. There's a lot of nasty people out there uh, who hide behind cameras. Or they hide behind YouTube, and I've seen people who created an account just so they can put something negative on people's account. It's just, it's just that's what I don't like about the internet. Um, but you find a close circle of people who you can trust. Like most of my subscribers, I trust them, and I got uh, uh, over a hundred and some subscribers, maybe two hundred. I'm not sure uh, that I am subscribed to. I trust them. Um, but I'm willing to reach out and know more about uh, YouTubers through their videos and, and then being open in open forums like this. So thank you, Mike, for the contest. And again, I know I've, I've been on Hopefully, it was entertaining enough. And um, and also, uh, that's it. I'm not going to keep going on about it. I can't, but I'm not. So, all right, you guys, take care. Thanks for watching, and see you.